Hi, I'm Bob Tabor with www.learnvisualstudio.net. In this module, we're going to associate a custom domain name with our Azure Active Directory. So this will allow us to create organizational accounts using our user's email address instead of the at atris.onmicrosoft.com, the domain that Microsoft gave us. So as you can see, uh, first of all, uh, I have created off camera a new subscription called Pay As You Go. We will ultimately use this for the sales department so that they can uh, pay for their own uh, Azure services and they can have their own, ultimately, their own Active Directory. But that's coming a little bit further down the line. So I just wanted to set that up and show you that here. What I want to do is actually go to the, uh, the portal itself. And at the moment, if I were to set up a new user, say I wanted to create a second user named Steve uh, at uh, atris.com, at uh, it'll actually only allow me to create an organizational account that looks like this, steve at atris.onmicrosoft.com. Uh, now that's kind of ugly, and it's gonna be hard for my users to remember. So instead, I wanna be able to use uh, custom organizational account domain names and so I want to use a custom domain. I'm going to map a custom domain to my, uh, to my Active Directory uh, directory. And so now if I were to create Steve's account, it would look more like steveatress.com. So I'll be able to create organizational accounts that correspond with the, with the user's actual email addresses already at use inside of our organization. Okay, so to get started with this, you can see that I've already selected the Active Directory that I want to work with here. Uh, in uh, the portal and I'm gonna and I'm gonna actually click the directory's name and then now we're looking at kind of the the dashboard for this particular active directory I'm gonna go to the domains tab and I'm gonna click add a custom domain and this allows me to enter the name of a custom domain one that'll be used for my organization so here we go atris.com now I'm going to leave unchecked this plan to configure the domain for single sign-on with my local Active Directory. That's a premium feature I'm not ready to talk about, so I'm going to leave that unchecked, but I will click the Add button. And then the next step will be to actually add a TXT record in my DNS hosts uh, records, and I'll need to add it and add this, uh, this specific record value. And then once I add it, it'll probably take 10 minutes or so uh, in order for it to propagate throughout the internet. And I should be able to verify from Azure's point of view that this indeed uh, is a domain that I am con in control of. So let's go ahead and go through that process. Uh, I am hosting my DNS and my domain names through Google Domains. I have an, a beta account. And so you can see I'm working with atris.com and I'm going to click the advanced tab. And every uh, domain registrar or DNS company will have a slightly different uh, panel to do this with. So uh, uh, no matter who you use, it's going to look different from what I'm doing here. But I'm going to go ahead and create a TXT record with that value set for one hour at the, uh, at the root of the domain. I'm going to click Add. And so now you can see that it successfully changed, uh, saved the changes to that domain. And I'm going to go back now to, uh, to Azure and I'm going to click Verify. Now you can see that at first it won't be able to verify the domain. Again, it takes like 10 or 15 minutes at least when you use Google domains. I don't know about some other registrar. It could take up to an entire hour or a day in some cases. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording of the video right here. I'm going to allow uh, the DNS magic to happen and eventually for uh, allow us to, uh, to verify that, that domain. Okay, so like I said, it took probably about 10 minutes or so. I went and got a cup of tea and came back and uh, we're ready to go now. It has verified that I am actually in control of this domain name and it's going to allow us to associate that custom domain name with the Microsoft given domain name for our Active Directory. So what does this all mean? Well, what we can do now is actually create a new user. Uh, so let's go to users and go ahead and add a new user. And we'll talk about the options here in another, in another module. But if you 
see, I can create steve at atrus.onmicrosoft.com or I can create steve at atrus.com and either will work. So let me go ahead and finish him up. Actually, I'll go ahead and just cancel this for now. I'll add him a little bit later. One of the other thing that I want to say with regards to mapping domains to your Active Directory, you can actually map multiple domains to a single directory. Now, I was a little bit confused about why you'd ever want to do this, but Pete Harris, who's working with me on this project at Microsoft, he suggested that it could be useful in a couple of different situations. One, perhaps you have domain names, like third le le level domain names, that indicate a particular region of the world. So it's not uncommon to have bob at us.atrus.com, steve at uk.atrus.com, and so on, right? So that's one scenario. Another scenario might be where there are actually different um, domain names, second level domain names that are all owned by the same organization. It might have happened as a result of mergers, whatever the case might be, but you can group them all under the same Azure Active Directory. So we might have uh, azureinc.com, some other company.com that Azure, uh, that I'm sorry, that Atris purchased, and then myatris.com, uh, I'm not sure. But at any rate, that's, just remember the notion that you can map multiple domains to a single Active Directory. Okay. So what I want to do before I actually leave this video is uh, create a second directory. Now, it's going to be simple to do. The reason why I want to do this, again, is to follow along with a scenario that we'll follow up on in a, in a future module. But basically, the sales department, again, it wants to not only pay for its Azure service separate from the rest of the company, but it also wants, wants to manage its, uh, its users and what they have access to separate from the rest of the company. So again, I'll explain more in, uh, in a future module, but uh, basically in order to create a new Active Directory, I'm gonna click the new button at the very bottom, and then it kind of catapults me all the way over here to this column. Basically, it selects app, Active Directory, and now I can choose Directory Custom Create, and here I can give it a name like uh, Atris Sales. And now I'm going to need to give it a domain name, another unique domain name. So, for example, if I were to try just Atris here, it's not going to let me do that because we already have an Active Directory by that name. So I might have to do something like atrissales.onmicrosoft.com. And then I'll have to choose a region and click OK. Now, again, ideally what I'll wind up doing is probably never really using that uh, that name that Microsoft Microsoft provided me probably going to map a domain to it at some point but I'll leave that for your imagination okay I think that's all that I really wanted to talk about in this in this module so just to kind of recap here first of all we mapped a custom domain to the Microsoft domain uh, for our organization and for our Active Directory then we talked about how you can map multiple custom domains to an organizational domain then we talked about creating a new user and now we can create users with that custom domain. I didn't actually create a user. I'll do that off camera. And then finally, uh, we created a second Azure Active Directory, which we're going to use in an upcoming module as well. Okay, so uh, let's continue to push forward. We'll see you in the next module. Thanks.